the Marine Corps Mess Night. It was one of the best nights I had ever had in my life. I got to see a new side of the Marine Corps. I didn't even know that such a thing like Mess Night existed until I got to my ground unit. While doing some research on this event, the origins, I found a great quote from a Navy Mess Night manual that sums up Mess Night and what it really is. A Mess Night is more than an officer's dinner party. It is a military formation as old and as rich in tradition as a quarterdeck or the mounting of the guard, and as essential to a close-knit, smooth-performing unit as our drills, inspections, and military ceremonies. Throughout the messes of the world, military men meet to honor the regiment, ships, standards, battles, and dead. It is significant to note that irrespective of nationality, these mess formations vary in form only as do much do the traditions of the military organizations. It cannot be too strongly emphasized that mess night is not a party in any sense. It is a very similar to honors for its purpose is to solemnly pay tribute to all of those intangibles for and by which the military unit stands. Although it, it is from a Navy manual, it still drives home to what a mess night really is about. The history of mess night. It all started with the Vikings and the British military. After a successful battle or pillaging, Vikings would gather around to feast and pay tribute to the, those fallen in battle, as did the British Navy back in the late 1800s. The American Navy adapted the tradition of having a type of mess night in the boat's wardrooms, which also happened to be a wine mess, and then after that, the Marines took in the mess night traditions. This quote pretty much sums up how mess night started. The introduction to a formal dinner faintly resembling anything like the Marine Corps Mess Night came about through association with British officers in China. While serving as the adjutant of the 4th Marines in Shanghai in 1927, Captain Lamel C. Shepard Jr. coached the regiment's swimming team. His counterpart in the 2nd Battalion Scots Guard invited young Shepard and his commanding officer, Colonel Henry C. Davis, to a guest night hosted by the officers' mess of this famous regiment. So basically, the 2nd Battalion Scots Guard invited Captain Shepard and Colonel Davis to a guest night, which was pretty much a mess night. Then the two Marines that attended the mess night were so impressed by that night that Colonel Henry C. Davis asked his adjutant to arrange something similar to be hosted by the 4th Marines. The monograph goes into detail about what happened later, but if you want to read it, you can uh, read it with the link that I provided below. Mess Night Details Mess Night has two types of events or formal gatherings, I should say. They're called dining in and dining out. Dining in is only when officers and guests of the command get to attend mess night, and dining out is when the whole command gets to come with their spouses. There's no difference in between the two, just who gets to attend. And this is all according to usmc.edu. So based on the mess night that the headquarters 6th Marine Regiment hosted, this serves as a good example or as a template of how a mess night could be. There's a long list that goes into every detail explaining what happens at every hour or every 10 minutes. But I'm just going to give you guys the Barney style version of this. By 1800, everyone should already be inside the building along with the commanding officers and the honorary guests. At around 1900, six bells go off, meaning you have around 10 minutes to either go get another drink or go use the bathroom because once the door's closed to the mess, it will be a non-stop trip to Flavortown. A couple minutes later, if you aren't completely wasted, a bugler sounds adjutant's call and the band plays Sea Soldier, which indicates for everyone to get inside the main dining area. Everyone should be around their assigned seats or be getting ready to sit down. Then when everyone is standing behind their seats, the adjutant, which is also the vice president of the mess, tells the commanding officer, who is the president of the mess, that all officers or personnel are present, and then the commanding officer yells, seats. I don't know if spouses and guests are supposed to sit down before or after the command, but if your wife needs two chairs, make sure that you let your command know ahead of time. So once you sit down, make sure that you take away your spouse's plate so she doesn't eat it, since the commanding officer will then have to say grace. And then after the commanding officer yells grace, the chaplain goes and does his thing, thanking baby Jesus for our amazing life in the Marine Corps and for making us so damn awesome. And then after grace and thanking baby Jesus, who was up there in his little cloth diaper, the first course is served. And here the monograph talks about specific plates that are served and how each plate of food represents each of the Marine Corps battles. For example, Marines and or people of the mess are served a small plate with shrimp tempura on it and are poured chilled white wine. This meal course is to remind diners of the wars in the Pacific. I don't know how exactly shrimp and white wine represents the wars in the Pacific, 
but the colonel is way more educated than I am and he probably did his homework on this. Then after eating a few entrees, the president then yells, parade the main course, meaning hey, we're done eating our entrees, now we're ready to go to Flavor Town, good to go. So then the steward brings him or her the main plate for mess night. The president takes a bite and makes sure it tastes better than lasagna and maurice, and he says, I proclaim this meal fit for human consumption, or I commend this meal to the enjoyment of the mess. Then the stewards take the plate away and uh, everyone gets their own little plate of the main plate for mess night. Once again, it seems like each meal that are served here pertains to where marines have been. And uh, if that's the case, then we should have some nasty roast beef. You guys, you guys know what? No? Okay. So then after eating though your main course, you get a salad. And then after that, you get some dessert with coffee because that's the tradition. Then everyone takes a port decanter and fills their glass. The president of the mess fills the guest glass. And then he passes it to everyone else to make sure that they fill up their glasses as well. Of course, each table will have their own little port decanter thing. Since this was during the 6th Marine Regiment's uh, mess night, this is um, some of this is going to pertain to what they said and stuff at the time. So the president then gives a toast by saying, Mr. Vice, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. The vice president then echoes what the president had said and says it louder so that everyone can stand up. Then the band played God Save the Queen. I don't know why, it just says they do. Then the officers say together, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and everyone takes a sip of port. Then the Royal Marine officer, which is in this scenario was the guest of honor, says, Mr. President, the President of the United States. And then the President says, Mr. Vice, the President of the United States. Then the Vice President says, Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. So then everyone cheers and takes a drink. Then the band plays uh, the Star Spangled Banner. And after that, everyone just pretty much hangs out. At my mess night, this was when all the fun really started. I know I said that mess night was not a party or is not supposed to be, but drinking and having fun, in my opinion, just brings a unit closer. In my mess night, we got to call each other out. Like, um, a marine or a person of the mess would get up and ask to address the mess. He would direct this towards the president, and if the president granted permission, the, per the person asking to address the mess then could address everyone and tell how Lance Corporal so-and-so had his ribbons on backwards or upside down and everyone would be like, oh no, oh snap, say it ain't so, blah blah blah. And then the president would give him a quote-unquote punishment to take one drink from the grog. This is what the grog is. Is There's some recipes, I guess, online that you can Google of to how to make a grog, but it's just a bunch of nasty weird stuff that you, that I guess is considered edible and then you put it in the bowl and uh whoever gets punished has to take a sip of it and stuff so yeah it's not hazing it's funny i remember everyone almost everyone got hit i know that officers and gunnies got called out a lot <laughs> and uh since it was all in good fun they didn't take it seriously or they didn't get offended by it and the, there wasn't a single person that crossed the line that night because everyone still you know remained respectful of one another and of their officers and stuff and you know, they didn't take it too far, but there was a time when a gunnery sergeant got a lap dance. Or not a lap dance, more like a strip show from, I don't know which Marine it was, I don't remember, but it was pretty awkward. And then also, like, the, this poor pizza girl got called in because uh, someone ordered pizza at mess night and it, it was delivered to one of the officers. And, uh,. The officer then had to drink the grog, and yeah, it was pretty funny. And also, like, everyone got a cigar, and uh, we, you know, you're supposed to smoke it while drinking and stuff, but uh, you can't drink indoors, so at the end of the night, everyone got their cigar, and I've never had a cigar before, so when I had got it, I thought it was going to be exactly like a cigarette, you know, it's just without a filter, so I'm like, I can handle it. So I got my cigar, and I didn't cut it because I didn't know what I was doing, so I lit it. And then I took the biggest inhale in my life, and then yeah, it was horrible because it burned my throat. But anyways, I hope that this helped you guys understand what mess night is. It is a very formal event, but it, it can also be a very fun and, and endearing event that will give you memories for a long time. And, and if you can, maybe like record or take pictures or something to remember that night, because I know I wish I, I could have recorded more of that night and not be so shaky either. So thank you guys for watching.